Yeah, the devastation right here. This whole shop has been filled with water. We want to show you how high the water was at its peak. This is the line right here, about a foot up in this cigar shop. Now, this is the Weston Tobacco Shop. This was actually built and put together by some friends. You can see the muck still on the floor here that they are trying to work to get back out. There's a, a Bear Creek that's just out this window. You can see they have a few shop backs here. They actually went to the hardware store tonight to get a couple of additional shop backs. The owner, Corey, that you see there, he was telling us that the rain came down, torrential rain. He says he could actually watch the pond collecting and building behind him, which is normally not even there. The water came in about a foot into his building here and just made it all the way back, all the way to the very end. You see where that other gentleman is using a three-foot squeegee to kind of clean up in here. This was put together by him and his son. These are all actually his customers that are helping him in Weston. He has a wonderful support group, a wonderful support team, and they are trying everything they can to get this shop back up and running using those shop facts to clean this up. You can see just how thick this is, though, several inches. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get all of this cleaned up. On the other side of town, coming up tonight, we'll have at 10, we'll have more on a bridge that was taken out where six residents now will have some difficulty getting to their homes. So lots of damage here in Weston, but the community is coming together to try and put everyone back up on their feet. Live in Weston, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.